I show speed impersonates fans, dad, and risks their suspension by calling the teacher. A Ooh. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Flatly here. I got my boy B Hall up in the chat. We're going over the I Show Speed drama. Say what's up, B Hall. What up? Oh my god. I Show Speed calls a substitute teacher a bit. What? What? First off, first off, all right. So they're all on a live stream. You know, I'll, I'll just play the video. I miss that. 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 Hello? Okay. What do you mean? What do you uh, need from me? Um, my son here, is he uh, doing okay in the class? I don't know. I'm subbing today. Oh, you're subbing? Okay, well, listen here, bitch. Don't ever talk to my son like that ever again. Ooh, excuse you. You might. Excuse you. Uh-uh. You fuck this phone to me. You must be talking about your mother. Don't talk to me like that. No, 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 ma'am. Ma'am. No, 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 no. You. Ma'am, no, ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. No, I ain't no ma'am. <gasps> no, it's been you a hoe, bro. No, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Bro, that, bro, that was a real you teacher. You better get me suspended, bro. Oh, shit, my fault. My fault, bro. I give you $50 bro. cash app. Oh, shit, bro. My fault. You better get me suspended, bro. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. No, my fault. My fault, my fault. Oh, shit, that was a real teacher, bro. My fault, my fault, bro. I'm sorry, dude. Oh. It was a live stream I show speed was doing and I guess he got fans to call in or something like that But he ends up going to give the phone to the, the kid goes and gives the phone to the teacher and I show speed calls a teacher a bitch Should this kid face a suspension and who's at fault here? The kid should be suspended because he set up. He set him up. He, he, didn't, tell him what, he, he didn't tell him what what was going on he put it in a real life situation. You know what? When I was growing up, they didn't allow phones in schools. I'm just saying we weren't allowed to have our phones in classes. American broadcaster I Show Speed is known for his wild on-stream antics, from setting off huge fireworks like that Pikachu thing we saw in his his own room to literally jumping into his own streaming setup. We've all seen these. He's he's basically a wild card through and through. But fans absolutely love it. I mean, they live for these moments, these internet beefs, these glimpses of absolute jackassery if that's a word on the internet people live for this i'm not gonna lie you know this is reminiscent of oh my god i got something on my glasses it's reminiscent of those zoom call bombings that nelk would do i don't know if you you know anything about that b-hole you're kind of new to everything here but um they used to call into zoom classes and they would just ask the dumbest dumbest questions or they'd show up super high or super drunk just completely derail the whole thing to a point where my college actually at the time when i was attending during covid 19 god bless our souls for that they actually issued a statement saying that if we were caught sending out zoom links we are to be expelled regardless, regardless of our educational status. That's like your GPA or whatever they said, educational status in, in New York is what they were calling it or some shit like that. This is what this reminds me of. Now, are we gonna get a ton of copycat killers now off of this? I think I show speeds to blame for this, but at the same time, this is fucking amazing. I fucking love it. Now, another one of I show speeds FaceTime fiasco was when viral out there, uh, a fan claimed they were getting suspended due to a school prank gone wrong. This isn't the first time that this has happened. That's hilarious. In all, in all true honesty, he probably should get suspended. He he brought the, the teacher even said it brought the teacher the phone and shit like that. You can't just be calling people bitches for no reason. You don't even know them. But uh, I guess he did cash up the kid fifty bucks. All is good and ends well, or whatever that saying goes. I just don't think we we really didn't learn anything. We didn't learn anything from this. I think it was fucking hilarious. It, it was a funny joke. It was a funny joke, but. You got to take in effect your effective people's real world lives. Now, Behal, you have a kid that's attending school. What if he, some Roblox streamer, or whatever the fuck they're into, right? What, if, what if they get suspended because they called the famous YouTuber and the the famous YouTuber called the teacher a bitch? How would you, how would you go about punishing that? Well, first off, he shouldn't have had a fucking phone out in school. I'd take the <laughs> goddamn phone. I'd be so proud of my kid. Like, yeah, fuck them teachers. <laughs> I mean, it'd be funny. <laughs> you gotta lay the law down as a parent, though. Yeah. Unbelievable. When you're, when you're talking about your own kids, it's different. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. Whatever. I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. This is B-Hall. He's brand new to drama. He's brand new to everything. He doesn't really know how to make shit up on the spot. But that being the case, I'll see you all in the next one.